Good evening, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce. This is going to be interesting. Let me give you a verse of scripture. It is out of... Um, it is out of Titus 2.13. I've said it plenty of times. Looking for that blessed hope, which is Jesus Christ, and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, again, Jesus Christ. Not Donald Trump. Especially now. So... Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave all us, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, Believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How did we how do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, you are protected by the blood of Jesus, you are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, um, change you if you let him. So, Trump is guilty on 34 counts. All 34 counts. So, um, I, I don't even, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say, but, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, whoa, <laughs> I don't, it, let me give you the article. So Donald Trump is found guilty on all counts. Uh, in his New York criminal hush money trial, which centered on allegations and so forth and so on. 34 counts. Now, this is going to be interesting. Um, now, does this knock him out from running? Yeah, I, I would suspect. I mean, really? Yeah, I would suspect he won't be running, even though... This has some kind of spiritual implementation. I, 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 I'm, I can't help but to feel it. Something is going on in the spiritual right now. Um, something is definitely going on in the spiritual. I mean, you can you can actually sense it now. I don't know what to make of this. I, I really don't. I don't know what to make of this. Um, Putin's house caught on fire. Just prior, that was reported just prior to this thing coming out. It's not his house, it's his residence. And uh, that was reported from New York Prepper. Let me find the article on that because I had something on that. And I don't know what I did with it. Hold on. Give me a minute. Yeah, it was one of his homes in... Um, one of his residence. I don't think it was his actual live-in residence at his home. But it was, it was destroyed. It was literally destroyed. And I'm going to find the article... And I will link that in the description box. Now, this just came out of RT, and this is uh, breaking right now. And it says that uh, Biden secretly allows, he secretly allowed Ukraine to launch long-range strikes on Russia. So, the change in policy applies to a limited stretch of land near the Ukrainian border. 
So this, like I said, this is breaking. Um, so Joe Biden has given Kiev permission to use weapons to hit targets in parts of Russia uh, bordering Ukraine, Kharkiv, or Kharkov region. Uh, he recently directed his team to ensure that Ukraine is able to use the weapon. So I guess what's coming out, because we already knew this, so I guess what's coming out now is that he secretly allowed it. It wasn't supposed to be leaked, according to this article. So he secretly allowed it. Now, Putin's resident catching, uh, residence catching on fire. That, to me, sounds personal. Don't know for sure, but that's what I'm picking up. But this goes on to say here, according to Politico, the decision was secretly communicated to Kiev sometime before its official confirmation. Um, in practice, Biden's direction will allow Ukraine forces to use long-range American weapons, but not the uh, Adasim's missiles, quietly being shipped to Kiev since early last month. Now, I, like I said, this just came out on RT not even an hour ago. It says Ukraine had previously used these towns and villages to launch artillery, drone, and missile strikes on the same Russian territory <coughs> covered by Biden's directive. However, Russia's push into Kharkov region forced the Ukrainian military to abandon these stage, uh, staging grounds, ensuring that it could no longer strike targets in Belgorod and other Russian settlements near the border. The U.S. official who spoke to Politico claimed that Biden's decision had not changed. The U.S. prohibition on strikes deep inside Russian territory. Biden has come under pressure to allow Ukraine unrestricted use of American weaponry against Russia in recent weeks, but publicly at least still refuses to grant this permission. So, like I said, this was supposed to be a secret and it leaked out. So, the public's refu the public refusal has ca caused rifts in the Biden administration between the U.S. and its allies, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and senior Pentagon officials both want Biden to approve long-range strikes on Russia, according to New York Times and Politico. While several NATO countries, including Britain, France, Germany, have already given Ukraine permission to use their weapons as it sees fit. This is... <laughs> This is so bad on, on every many levels that I, I can't even begin to go there. So in Kiev, Biden's refusal to reportedly, uh, has reportedly angered Zelensky. Well, who cares about him? I mean, and his senior officials, some of whom told Washington Post this week that they could have held back Russia's Kharkov offensive if they had permission to conduct cross-border strikes on Russian equipment. This is such a crap storm. It's not even funny. This is just terrible. This is awful. Now they're done. RT, which is a Russian publication, is coming out saying that he secretly did this. Well, it ain't a secret no more. It certainly isn't a secret anymore. Now... They just picked up on Trump's convi uh, conviction. That just came in a few minutes ago. So it says that he has been convicted. Uh, it says former U.S. president and current presidential candidate has been found guilty of falsifying business records. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, a Democrat, charged uh, Trump last year with 34 counts of... Criminal behavior, uh, alleging that um, he sought to conceal damaging information 
So the case was based on claims over uh, by his former lawyer. And other candidates, other people. If Trump is acquitted, the country will see the damage done to our country by corrupt prosecutors. Um, I think the uh, Republican presidential candidate uh, told Fox ahead of the verdict, if he's found guilty, they'll see that a man is being sentenced for a crime that no one can actually name. Either way, the, uh, the real verdict is in November, referring to the date of the election, pitting Trump against incumbent uh, Joe Biden. Now, like I said, I don't know whether he can still run. I have no idea what's going to happen here. None. It's in God's hands. But... Um, We'll see what happens here. We will see. My hope is in Christ, not in man, ever in man. So, um, everything is falling in place. Everything is in place right now. Do I believe that this had some kind of implication on Prophecy? I think a little bit. Yeah, I think this did. I just don't know what yet. Oh, but the Lord will always <laughs> tell me. <laughs> he always will. So, I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Um, hmm. I really don't see us being here much longer. I, I really don't. I, I just cannot see us being here much longer. I will be back later. I will, I will uh, find that article because there was a short article about his house, his residence uh, catching on fire. I'm surprised RT didn't pick that up unless they want it quiet. But I will, I will be back later. Thank you.